Today we're going to clean an M4 rifle in less than 10 minutes. First thing we're going to do is check and make sure it's empty. I'll throw a timer up here in the corner just to see how long it actually takes. First thing you do is push the two pins out with something soft so you don't scratch the gun up. The pins won't fall the way out, they'll just uh, hang on the other side. Then you can separate the upper and the lower halves. And you want to pull out your uh, bolt carrier group here and your charging handle. Charging handle has a little notch, you have to wiggle it down through. Then grab your favorite cleaner or solvent. We're going to wet the barrel real good with the solvent and then we're going to let it sit for a while while we clean the other stuff up on the gun. Then I put some solvent on the end of a long Q-tip and I get it in the chamber there and sop it all up real good. We want it good and wet in there because we're going to soak it for a while and let it dissolve all that gunk in there. You work it right into all the lugs and everything. Then I move on to the bolt carrier group. I like to take the needle nose pliers and remove the retaining pin out. Just give it a pull and you can get your firing pin out. Get it to drop out the bottom. Then you push your bolt in there and then you're going to turn your cam pin 90 degrees and then pick it out of there. And the bolt just pulls right out of the bolt carrier. Let's wipe everything down good with some solvent on a rag and clean all the carbon and crap off of it. You want to check the little gas rings on here and see if the spaces are staggered around evenly. Just, just like a piston in a car, you got to stagger those spaces. You just slide them with your fingernail if they're off. These ones look like they're pretty good. Take a pipe cleaner and clean out the bolt right through, right through where the firing pin goes. We'll pop right out the other end and cleans it up real good. Take the end of the Q-tip or something small and push out that cross pin so I can get the retainer out. You don't have to do this every time. This is just once in a while when it's getting a little gunky. Just want to check under that lip there and make sure it's not cruddied up. You can just wipe it with a rag with a little solvent on it and put a little bit of oil on it. This one didn't even need cleaning. It wasn't even dirty in there. Then you clean the inside of the bolt carrier with a cleaning rag with a little solvent and just use a another brush, gun brush or something, and push it in there. And I like to oil up the bolt real good. It's the only thing I really put a lot of oil on. Everything else is kind of just lightly oiled and stays dry. Oil on the bolt will transfer into the bolt carrier, so you don't have to put much oil on it either. Just turn that pin 90 degrees again. I should also mention when you put the bolt in, you make sure that uh, the extractor is at the 10 o'clock position with the gas tube on the top when you're looking at the hole. 
Some guys out there enjoy doing this. I just like to get it done. You don't really need any special tools or anything. I'm just doing all this on the floor, just using simple cleaning tools. And it's clean and lightly oil the firing pin. You don't want a lot of oil on anything. You want it to stay pretty dry. That just drops right down in there. You just push it down in. And you got to put the pin back in to hold it. Just tap that right in. You just clean out your gas tube with a pipe cleaner. This one's not even dirty. And you just lightly oil the rails on this bolt carrier down on the bottom. And then up on the top, around the gas tube. Wherever it touches the gun, and rides on it. It's just a wicker wear surface there. Even the little notch where the retainer goes for the buffer spring, you can put a little oil in there. Just all this is lightly oiled, not a lot. You don't want to sweat either. Just pushed in the retainer for the buffer spring and pull it right out. And just wipe it down with a rag and clean the buffer and put a little bit of oil on it just to keep it quiet and keep it from rusting up. Some guys use grease on these. I just put gun oil on it. It's whatever you prefer. Oops. And you just push it back in there. Push that little pin down with a spring in it. That pin's just a little stopper for the buffer. Keep it from popping back out again. And just wipe down the lower good with some solvent if it's got some gunk on it or just sometimes it's just a rag. You gotta put a little bit of oil on everything. So I get a little lightly oiled rag and just a little bit lightly oiled. Then I put some oil on the pins. Everything that moves, I just put a little bit of oil on everything that moves on this gun, the springs. Magazine release, and the bolt release, everything. Then I take a pipe cleaner and clean out the gas tube a little bit. Usually it don't get too dirty. That's pretty clean. Just wipe everything out real good. Shine it up, getting gunk or anything that's in there out. By now the solvent loosened up any gunk that's in the barrel and I run the dry rag down through it. Sometimes you gotta run a couple down. This one's pretty clean though on the first one, so I'm not gonna mess with it. And you clean all the solvent out of the lugs and out of the chamber. And I put a little bit of oil in there and run the lugs a little bit, rub it in. If you're not gonna be shooting it for a while, it's good to put an oily rag right down the barrel, just oil it up a little, just to keep it from rusting inside. Put a little oil on the dust cover springs and wherever it moves. Assist handle, I'll put some on there, loosen it up. Everything that moves on this gun, the sights, everything, just put a little little tiny bit of oil on. Then you push the upper and the lower together and push the pins in. And you're all done. Look at that timer, less than 10 minutes, just like I said. Nothing to it. You want to run the action a couple times just to check, make sure it's okay. Make sure everything's working right. 